In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to get your parking brakes on a C3 or earlier Corvette um, in a much easier manner than described by um, uh, some other uh, tutorials. What you'll need is what you see in front of me, the shoes, a piece of wire. I'm using a piece of fine copper wire. You could also use a piece of fishing line, a pair of needle nose, a magnet, which I rescued from a, a, an old hard drive, and a way to retrieve it in case it, because it's surprisingly powerful, uh, and some grease, and the the items that need to be installed on the shoes. So when we start, let's make sure that you grease up the star wheel and the bearings. And the star wheel will always go to your right. To get started, insert the spring on the lower holes of the shoes. Put your shoes down and line up the the uh, slots in the shoes. And there they are uh, ready to be installed on the backing plate. Now there's a little preparation. Let's prepare the captive uh, pin and to do that we'll put a little loop in this wire like so and put it on that captive okay so there's there's the wire, and we'll be threading that through the hole of the brake shoe. And here's what we use the magnet for. If you notice, the, the hole that the other pin gets inserted through is right here. And if I insert this magnet in the back, you can see where it appears in the back of the thing, and it will... Uh, it will hold the uh, pin firmly while you uh, uh, put the springs on. So let's put that pin in there. And let's go ahead and put that... Uh, magnet, which is wanting to grab everything. Let's put that magnet in there to make that pin firm. So that that helps you a lot putting that spring on the on the brake shoe. Now let's go ahead and uh, apply some grease to the contact points on the backing plate. So your shoes will easily slide around. Not a lot. And a little bit on the the top pin where the shoes actually contact the top pin. Now let's go ahead and insert that wire through the hole like so and go ahead <clears throat> and mount the brake shoes on the backing plate.
Now let's draw that shoe aside and pull the pin through the shoe. Making sure that you got the actuator lined up with the shoes. Now that we have the shoe with the pin pulled through the hole with the wire, let's put the retaining springs on. Thread the wire through the spring and also its cap and move them down. Pull the, pull the shoe off just slightly so you can get that spring in there. And pull that, pull that pin with the wire. I get that spring around the pin. Take a needle nose while you're holding the pin. Line up the slots. And turn the uh, cap, pull the wire. There, that side is connected. Let's move around to the other side. This is the side that we put the magnet behind the pin. And if we pull the shoe aside, you can see where the pin is. And if we stick the spring around that pin with the spring, on the pin, take your needle nose and line the cap up with the slot. Pull the shoe back slightly and push the spring onto the pin, turning the cap, and that side is connected. It may take you a few tries, but it certainly is a lot easier than the other way. Pull the magnet out, and there are your, your retaining springs for the back of the shoes. Now, let's put the the top spring on. Now we're ready to insert the top spring. So pull back one of the shoes, find the hole in which it's supposed to reside, insert it, and put the shoe back. Turn the spring slightly. Take your needle nose and pull that spring past the top pin. 
push the other shoe out of the way slightly and get that spring down there. Then take a, a uh, either a very small punch or a neat or a ice pick and find the other hole in the other shoe where the spring is supposed to go. Put the end in the spring and there you go. All attached, ready to ready to go. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps make your parking brake installation a lot easier.